Hi boys and girls. So today we are going to be making a project for Palm Sunday. I don't have a sample to show you first because I'm very limited in the paper that I have here at my house. So we're going to do it together or I'm going to do one and show you the finished product. A lot of um, internet sites are calling for Christians to put palm leaves or any kind of green leaves in their windows to celebrate Palm Sunday because a lot of church communities cannot be together. And so what I decided was, well, maybe we can make a palm leaf. And so because we were doing a lot of projects that centered around Central America, I looked up Palm Sunday celebrations in Mexico. And what I found was they made beautiful palm leaves palm fronds, they're called, and they wove tropical flowers in them. And I thought, oh, that's beautiful. And it reminds me of Easter with the flowers too, as well. It's not just the palm. So what you're going to need is green paper. If you don't have green paper, but you only have white, color it. You can color it with a green crayon, a green marker. You could paint it green and let it dry before you do the cutting part. But that's what I would do. Now, one of the things that I always do in my classroom as I teach children, if you only have a small piece of paper, you can make it way bigger by adding two pieces of paper together and you can glue them at the seam and all of a sudden it makes it longer. So what I want to do is I want to take these papers and make them longer so that you can see what they look like nice and big. I have to make a big one because I have a giant window that I would like to put my palm leaf in. So for time's sake, you can use Elmer's glue, but because we don't have a lot of time, I'm just going to use tape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my two pieces of paper and I'm going to make sure that they are overlapping just a little bit. And I'm going to take my scotch tape. I'm going to hold this up for you to see in a minute. And I'm going to go ahead and tape those two pieces together. You can see the tape on there. So now I have one long piece, but I think I want to make it even wider. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take another piece and I'm going to show you in a minute, but I'm going to add it to the side. I want to make sure that all my tape is on the same side. I don't want tape on the front. I only want tape on the back. If you have glue or glue stick, can you see that? If you have glue or glue sticks, you can make it work. If you notice, I have tape here and I have tape over there. So I'm keeping the tape on the back. So I need another piece and I'm going to tape that. I wanna to try to make sure that it's nice and even. I'm gonna have a total of six pieces of paper for my big palm frond. That's my husband laughing while I'm making the video. <laughs> so now <laughs> I'm going to add two more pieces to the end and wait till you see how big this is. You're not even going to be able to see my face anymore. All you're going to see is a giant piece of paper and I'm going to hold it up for you. I'm using a total of six pieces of paper. If you only have one small piece of paper, use it. I'm only doing it because I have a giant window to put it in. If you only have two pieces of paper, then you can just put two together. So I'm going to go ahead and finish taping this and then I'm going to hold it up for you to see. When I hold it up, you're not even going to see me. That's how big it is. Okay, here we go. Look how I did that. So it's all taped together. And when I turn it over on this side, you can't really see where it's taped. You can see a seam, but that's okay because I want you to see the seam because I want it to look like the middle of the frond, so it's good. So the next thing that I'm going to need for this project is a pencil or a marker. I'm gonna use a marker because you know that I like to use markers so that you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to draw a very long football shape on my paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw a happy mouth on the bottom part, you can see that, the happy mouth on the bottom part. And then I'm going to go ahead and draw the sad mouth 
on the top part like this. Can you see that whole thing? There we go. So now I'm going to take scissors and I'm going to cut that. Sorry about that. <laughs> so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start to cut that football, the giant football that I just made out. Had to slam the door so my husband would stop laughing because I couldn't even hear myself think. Sorry about that. And then I'm going to keep cutting until I have the one side of my palm leaf and I'm going to cut so you can see the other side of my palm leaf. Okay, almost there guys, almost there. There we go. So now I have a big palm frond. Do you see that? Doesn't have to be even, that's totally fine. What I wanna do now, this is really important. I wanna make sure that on the back there's enough tape along the middle to make sure it stays together because I'm going to start to cut the parts of the palm leaf that are um, I don't know how separated, I guess you want to say. And when I start to do that, I don't want to lose what I've built with the paper. I don't want the paper to fall apart because if the paper falls apart, it's going to be more of a problem. So you really want to make sure that the back is super secure. So if you're using tape, you want to make sure that that entire seam has tape along it, okay? Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start to cut my, um, my leaves. And you can see I'm cutting them a little thicker. I don't want them to be super skinny. And I'm cutting them on a diagonal. Here, let me show you. I'm going to try to hold this up as best I can. Hmm. Let me figure out how to do this. I'm going to hold it the other way. So now I'm going to be cutting this on a diagonal. And you can see how it's starting to separate. See that? That's what we're looking for because when we add the tropical flowers, we're going to kind of tuck them in and out of these palm fronds. And I'm just gonna finish cutting this one side and then we're gonna work on making our tropical flowers. To make the tropical flowers, you're going to need colorful paper, like maybe pinks and reds and yellows and oranges, something that'll be nice and bright. If you don't have colorful paper, that's okay. You can use crayons to make your paper colorful. It doesn't have to be just construction paper because I know that right now we might not all have construction paper in our homes and that's okay. When I make my flowers for you, we can make them any way you want. That's the great part about doing this project at home. But what we want to do is we want to remember that when Jesus walked in to Jerusalem and people were laying the palm fronds on the ground, they were doing it because that he was the king right? Hosanna in the highest. And if you were going to have something that was for a king, you wanted to be special. And so these palm fronds were special. They, they made the ground almost like he was so important. His, the donkey's feet couldn't touch the ground so that it had to be covered with some kind of leaf or covering. So I want to make sure that our palm fronds, see that? And see how it moves too? Isn't that kind of cool? So it's really fun to do. Okay, step number two. I am going to grab some paper out of my, I found this old pack of construction paper. The colors aren't super bright, but they'll do the job. So I'm going to take orange, red, and yellow, 
and pink. And I'm going to keep them all together. So the one thing that, that I've taught in all of my classes is if you hold papers together and you cut them at the same time, you'll get a few of whatever it is you're looking for. So if I have four pieces of paper and I draw a flower on the front and I cut it out, how many flowers am I going to have if I have four pieces of paper? Four, of course. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw just the general outline shape of a flower. I'll show that to you right there. It's not perfect, but that's okay. And then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to hold my paper together nice and tight so it doesn't fall apart. And I am going to cut out my flower. And then I'm going to show you how you end up having four. So now I have one, two, three, four. So I have four beautiful flowers that we're going to add to this. And I need middles for my flowers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that same piece of paper, hold it together. I'm going to draw a circle that I think will fit inside each flower. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut that out. And now I have... I don't know why these are so much smaller, but now I have circles. I'm going to take a different color. So if this is pink and this is orange and I lay them on top like that, it'll make a center that's a different color. I'm still gonna use my tape. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll it, put it on the back of each circle and put them in the middle of a flower. Once I have my circles done, I can decide where my flowers are going to go. Now you can make your flowers way fancier than me. I'm doing this really easy because I'm trying to do it quickly so that you all can see what it looks like as a finished product. So you can make your flowers with pretty petals, you can make them all different uh, colors, however you would like to do it. But now I have four flowers that have centers inside. And I wanna add them now to my palm leaf. And I'm gonna use the same thing. I'm gonna put tape, I'm gonna put tape around the back. I'm gonna find an area where I think I would like my flower to sit on my, on my leaf. I'm gonna hold this up for you in a minute so that you can see what it looks like. And I can't wait to hang this in my window because when I hang it in my window, everybody's going to know that I celebrate Palm Sunday, right? And that's what we want. We want people to know that we celebrate Palm Sunday. Okay. And like this. So here we go. Are you ready to see the finished product? Look how beautiful that is. See? Now you have a beautiful palm leaf that you can put in your window for Palm Sunday. I would love to see them. Make sure you tag me. Bye, boys and girls.